Hello and welcome to this Let's Boot training video. Today we're going to talk about translating Angular 4 apps with NGX Translate. So let's get started. All the content of this video is, can be found in this Medium article and you can follow either the video or the article or use both if that's easier. So let's get started. We're going to go through the following steps and um, we can start straight away. So the first thing we're going to do to create this, uh, this app is we're going to go to our terminal and do an ng new call um, our app in this in this case traduction we'll use a prefix tr in our case once the npm package installer has finished we're going to move into our folder and we're going to open open this folder in our code editor in our case, we're using Visual Studio Code, but of course you can use whichever one you prefer. So we're now going to open an integrated terminal inside of our code editor, so we can work directly in here. And so the next step is going to be to serve the application so that we can check that it's working. And here we go. We have a very basic Angular application set up and running. So the next thing we're going to have to do is install and load the ngx translate content. We'll do this in a new shell here. There we go. The next thing we have to do is import the necessary modules into appmodule.ts. So right here, we're going to import these contents. Once that is done, and because it's needed by OT, we're going to add a function that returns a translate HTTP loader that we can export. There we go. We then need to import our modules into the at ng module and this will tell Angular to load this module into your app module. Here we just need to add the HTTP module here we go the HTTP module, the translate module with the for root calling the for root function which needs the loader which takes an object and we need to provide the translate loader, use factory create translate loader and we have the dependency which is HTTP Oh, yes. The next thing we have to do is inject the translate service. So in app component.ts we will init the translate service. There we go. Import translate service from NGX Translate Core. Then inside the app component class we will inject the service and define our default language. At this point, we're injecting the translate service and setting our default language to English. To be ready for the next step, we add a function to switch the language. This will allow us to take a, a string and switch the language accordingly. We'll now have to create our JSON translation files. These have got to be under source assets i18n. In our case, we're going to create only two files, an English JSON file and a French JSON file. In our English translation file initially, we'll just have everything hard-coded, same thing for French. And now we'll set up the translation for a simple title and intro. So in our app component.html, we'll just set this up. So we just have a simple title and a div with an introduction and we're just translating this user which we don't yet have. So we'll have to add our user. In the app component HTML we're also adding the buttons which will allow us to call the function. But again because we want to be able to use the variable we have to create this user. And there we have it. 
So right now we're translating this, but with hard-coded variables, uh, sorry, hard-coded content. However, because we're using, we're passing the object in the translate pipe, we can use its properties in our translation with this placeholder annotation. So therefore, inside our JSON files, we can replace the hard-coded material and now we still have this translation working but of course it's no longer hard coded et voila so thank you for following happy coding and follow us on twitter medium linkedin or on letsboot.com a big thank you to the guys at ngx translate um, for this great content and then what's next well we'll do more complex translations with multiple angular modules and multiple sources as well as a section for our translation Thank you, and uh, see you next time.